another episode of the 9mm Ammo Quest, looking for the best performing defensive ammunition from a 3 inch barrel pocket pistol such as the SIG 938. Lots of uh, compact pocket pistols on the market now and it seems like 3 inches is about the barrel length everybody's using. So I'm trying to test ammo to find out what will perform well reliably, repeatably, and will meet the penetration and expansion standards established by the International Wound Ballistic Association and the FBI, which is about 12 inches minimum and 18 inches maximum through calibrated 10% organic ballistic gel. Or sometimes I use a synthetic ballistic gel substitute uh, from Clear Ballistics because this stuff is really expensive and a pain to deal with. And IWBA denim. This is 16 ounces per square yard. Heavy, heavy stuff. Not just some pair of jeans you got from Goodwill. And this is the real professional level stuff. We're using this to test gold dot, 147 grain. This is, everybody loves gold dots. I love gold dots. Been struggling with the gold dots to find a really good performer here. So I've got hope here because we got this 147 grain heavy bullet uh, in general. I prefer heavy bullets over lighter bullets. I just like having more momentum. But, you know, from the three inch barrel, it's been a little challenging to find 147 grain bullets that can deliver enough velocity to perform well. So we're gonna find out how these gold dots do when we put them through standardized testing. Through the bare gel, the gold dots penetrated really deeply. Uh, none of them came up short, but they did go very deep. And in fact, it's deeper than it looks because two of them were affected notably by bounce back. One of them bounced back over four inches backwards through the gel. So that's just, that, it came to rest at 14 and a quarter inches, but that's not representative of what the bullet did. You can see in the slow mo, it went way further. So I have to compensate for that using the Schwartz quantitative ammunition selection formula and move the bullets to where they actually belong. You can see the damage tracks in the gel where the bullets went to. We're gonna move those into position so they're more representative of what the bullets really did. And when we do that, we now can evaluate the penetration. The Shores bullet came in at 16 and a half. Next shortest was 17 and three quarters. Then we had one right on 18. And then we had a couple of minor over penetrators. One went to 18 and a quarter and one went to 18 and a half. Uh, not ideal, but pretty minor. So we're gonna go ahead and run the denim test. Well, the bare gel results were a little disappointing, a little over penetration, but the denim results are unacceptable. Uh, now, we got three that penetrated great. Two of them stopped at 16 and a half. One of them stopped at 17 and a quarter. Those are both within our 12 to 18 inch window. Those are great. But then we had one go all the way to 19 and a half. And, you know, once you start fudging the line, I, I can overlook a quarter or half an inch. But when we once we get to an inch and a half over the maximum, that's that's getting to the point where we got to rule it out. And that doesn't even compare to the one that went to 23 and a quarter inches. So I think the velocity is just too low to force these to expand big enough to stop soon. The bare gel bullets are all consistent. They all expanded well. Yeah, they over a little bit, but they, they did fine. The denim results, not so good. One completely failed to expand and over penetrated hugely. Uh, this one here is a little bit of a partial, I mean, it fully expanded, but it didn't peel the petals back quite as far as, as it should. And this one, we only had a third of the bullet expand. This tells me that the velocity is just too low and the velocity was quite low when I, when I look back on it. For 147 grains, these were running a good 50 to maybe 80 feet per second slower than the 147 grain HSTs. And I think it was just too slow. Now, while these did do reasonably well, I got to put them in context. I'm going to show you two ways to put these in context and why I'm, I mean, besides the fact that we had two over penetrators, it's automatically going to rule us out. And to be fair, we had a couple of minor over penetrators here. The second thing is they just didn't expand very big. Let me show you this. That's a 380 critical defense. I expect a lot more from 147 grains of gold dot, nine millimeter, then we're getting out of 90 grains of 380, but they really, they are, as far as expanded diameter, they're about the same. But this is probably even worse. 
this gigantic bullet is also a gold dot. That's a 115. This is what a gold dot should be doing. We should be getting these great, big, fully expanded, flattened bullets. Instead, the 147, I mean, it started, but it's got so much more metal it could work with. It should be able to expand to a much bigger size, and it just didn't. So, tiny expansion comparatively, failed expansion, over penetration, uh, that all adds up to a great big pfft. Final report on the gold dots. It pains me to rule out a gold dot, because I've got to say, I really do like gold dots. But in this 9mm ammo quest has been very frustrating with gold dots. It's hard to find great performers. And these 147s were not a great performer. Uh, they didn't expand well, and they over-penetrated, so uh, I wouldn't choose them. I would probably say, just based on the reputation and on all my testing and all other calibers, gold dots are usually great. They really are. But they're struggling from the 3-inch pistol. I don't think these are the answer. Um, so thanks to my uh, viewers who donate ammo to me. I appreciate that you guys can find or have in stock stuff that I can't find anywhere. I would not have been able to test these if, if a viewer hadn't sent them to me. So thank you very much for that. But with that said, uh, there's better choices out there. These are, these are not what you would prefer to be using. They're not bad. They did not underpenetrate. They would be an effective man stopper. It's not bad. They're, they're okay. But there's outstanding out there. And from my perspective, I'd rather have outstanding than, than okay, if you know what I mean. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hit subscribe. You'll be notified when the next video is posted.